Hello everyone and welcome back to the Keep Productive YouTube channel. On this week's video, we are introducing you guys to SaneBox. We're giving you a bit of an outline on how to use it, how it personally helps me to reduce email, and also talking about the pricing and information that you need to know to go away to make that decision. So guys, let's dive into today's video. <laughs> So guys, today's video, as you can see in front of us, I have got SaneBox open. SaneBox is an email management application that allows you to reduce clutter in email. I've got it actually installed in my email app of choice right now, which is SparkMail, uh, and it's actually been a really awesome addition. I've only got it available for, for one account currently, it's a personal Gmail account, but it has already reduced a lot of my uh, email. I've been using it for about I'd say two to three months now, ever since um, the likes of Newton uh, fell, which was a really a, a bad point. Um, and naturally they had those features embedded and I had to look for something uh, very similar. So guys, today's video, we're outlining this one. Just a little note, this whole week on this channel has been sponsored by SaneBox. Uh, this review will be a personal opinion of my experience of it. So I'm just gonna give you the information and give you some of my thoughts and pricing so it can give you all that you need to know to go away to see whether SaneBox is for you. So it's very kind of them, so thank you very much to their team. So as you can see here, this is the SaneBox dashboard. Uh, naturally, it gets installed inside of your email application of choice, whether that's Gmail for web, whatever it is. Um, and in this case, I actually use a personal Gmail for it. But it does support Google uh, Apps accounts, iCloud, Office 365, Yahoo, and pretty much any other IMAP email account. Uh, and the dashboard can be accessed through web, so there's no mobile application. So this is what you land on when you get the dashboard, um, and naturally you can see the email I've got connected to here. If you want to add any more emails, you can add them through here. The dashboard gives you a bit of an outline of what subscription you're on. I'm on the one called the monthly snack. We'll be talking about pricing near the end. And a bit of an outline of the um, the bonuses that you get with your account. So I want to start with the digest area and then move along the, to these different areas. So here's the digest area. Digest area essentially allows you to get an outline for all of the emails that have come in and basically where they've been stored. Um, so the idea behind SaneBox is to reduce email clutter. So in doing that, they create a host of different email inboxes. So you've got the likes of Sane Later, Sane News, Sane Black Hole, Sane No Replies, Sane Not Spam. And this might sound like uh, a bit mental right now, but it will make sense. So here's an example of the email accounts that I use. So these are all the emails that are coming into my system. Um, and as you can see, they've already started to be sorted into the relevant account. So here, these are the ones that have been sorted into Sane later. And what you can do from here is essentially train it, train the emails to arrive in different inboxes. So in this case, I actually do want this one, uh, Amazon order information to go to Sane later because I can view that later all there. Um, but I actually do want my uh, eBay ones to start going to Sane News. And Sane News is for any newsletters or mailing lists. So there you go. It's automatically been trained to go into Sane News. So any future emails I get will go into there. The same with um, job remote non-tech non job updates. I want it to go into Sane News. And you can even force them into the inbox as well. So that's one of the nice benefits of it. Now, once you're happy, so for example, if I'm like double checking, okay, there's nothing here that I want to go into there. Okay, I'm pretty happy with that. If I click done reviewing, there we go. The current digest is done. Now, you don't have to do this every time. If you do this, for example, inside of your mailbox, so if I open up Sane Later, you can see Sane Later, Sane News, and these are for all the later emails. So for example, if I wanted to move this Prezzo one, which is a restaurant um, in the UK, a chain, if I go down and I click Sane News, because that's irrelevant there, it will appear in here. But any future emails that I get from this uh, Prezzo, uh, the actual email address, will go into Sane News. So that's a concept behind it. You can do it from your email, or you can actually do it from this digest area. So if that's something that you do need to do as you go, uh, you can do that easily. So let's just go back to the dashboard. So that was the digest area and they do a daily digest. So you can review, review the whole day of worth of stuff in, in five hours time. So they have a sort of slot for it. 
You also have this training and filters. So you can, if you want to, um, go to all of your contacts and actually train them uh, in detail. Now you can use the same black hole, which is a uh, very popular function, but in my case I don't use it. I'll talk to you near the end about that. And subjects as well, which is essentially tags. So you can go to contacts and actually go through them and filter them into the relevant areas, but in this case I think I'll pass on that. So if I go to dashboard, you can see here I've got a couple of other settings. I've got reminders. Reminders is essentially snooze to some extent, but it's quite smart because basically if you access it, so if I press try, um, what will happen is once once you send an email and you give it a specific like date. So for example, so for example, let's say I was emailing someone, in this case myself, <laughs> and I wanted to remind myself tomorrow morning at 9 a.m. to follow up. All I'd have to do is in the CC or BCC put tomorrow.9am at samebox.com and you can do that with whatever structure you want. And let's say I wanted to set myself a reminder of pick up a new MacBook. So once I press send, it should appear in this reminders area and the email will resurface inside of your email account at that specific time, no matter whether your email does have snooze or not. So here we are, you can see a reminder has appeared and you can see that it will be reminded tomorrow at that time. So you can visualize all of your previous and current reminders there. Now inside of the account I've got, I've only got 10 per month, so that's just something to note. We'll go over that information in pricing. So essentially what Sane Attachments does is you get 10 of them per month for large attachments. But for example, if one lands in your inbox, you can connect to one of your popular services that you use and it will automatically, the attachment will automatically be created into a link to these services. So if you're someone that sends big files and you don't want to uh, waste all of your email storage or your low on email storage, that could be great for you. Now in terms of everyday use of this application, let's just jump over to Spark. I actually use this on a daily basis. I would say that it's probably reduced the amount of email spam I've been getting for maybe the last two months by about 30 to 40 percent. So you can see here, same later, mainly just stores the information I need to know about Amazon updates, like social media updates to some extent, and I'm yet to fully train all of these emails back in, but it'd be really easy if I wanted to. So for example, if I wanted all of the updates from Summel to go to news, I'd, all I'd have to do is drag, and that's really, really easy. And the same with any of the other experiences. Now, I also use this area called Sane No Replies, where I, if I send an email and it appears in here um, and that person hasn't replied yet, it can detect that and that can become very valuable. Now, if I at any point wanted to move this into inbox, it would then train that email for later. So that's something that I find incredibly valuable. Okay, so here is a perfect example of some uh, news that has come in. All I have to do for later is just press Sane News and it should appear here as well as in the future, not appear later. As well as in the future, not appear inside of the inbox, which will really reduce clutter. So there is an area that allows you to take a snapshot of your inbox and basically you can do some bulk updates to your email contacts and where you want to train them to next time, as well as even archive or delete emails. Now this is a really neat area called email cleanup, something that can become very valuable for users who just want to do a bulk clean out. Now the great thing is you've also got Sane Black Hole, which is an unsubscribe from any annoying emails that is available for accounts, as well as Sane Not Spam, allowing you to rescue emails mistakes as marked as spam. So that's almost like a provisional spam folder. Now you do also have additional experiences as well for the ability to snooze non-urgent emails. For example, if you want to customize the time of when they pop back up, that's very valuable too. So guys, you're probably wondering what's included in the price side of stuff. So I actually use the snack edition at the moment. I'll probably be upgrading to the lunch edition. It's $7 per month right now. It allows me to have access to one inbox, 10 reminders, 10 attachments per month, as well as an additional extra. And that's one that you can choose to use. So guys, I am currently using Sane Later as a way to filter any not so important emails for later. I use Sane No Replies to check in on people who haven't replied yet that I just need a reminder of and I can nudge them. And I also use Sane News, which I chose from my extra section as part of my package. Now, I also do inside of all accounts, and you do inside of all accounts get Sane Archive, allowing you to see a folder of your oldest emails. Sane Connect, allowing you to see or search any domain name and find colleagues. So there are two other 
packages. They are called lunch and dinner. Lunch includes two inboxes and it's priced at $12 per month. It's got 250 reminders, 250 attachments per month, as well as five extras if you want to add them additionally. You've also got dinner, which is $36, four inboxes and unlimited reminders and attachments, as well as every single feature. Now, just to be clear, there are yearly where you get 30% off or buy yearly so that's every two years, 40% off there. So, for example, if you want to make a bulk package, something I'm sticking with is a monthly package, but if I do look to upgrade to lunch, because I'm pretty happy with the service, I'll probably look to do a yearly account. The experience of using it every day has really helped to reduce clutter in my inbox. Now, I would say that uh, there are no free packages in this. There are discounts, obviously, for those yearly and bi-yearly. But if you are a student or part of a government agency or a non-profit, then you get 25% off. They also have a referral system, too, to recommend to buddies. Now, you can get $25 credit in the description below as part of this sponsorship this week. So that's very kind of the SaneBox team. If you're looking to understand the resource, they have a fantastic blog which is regularly updated, as well as an Inbox Zero Academy. So if you're looking to really master your skills at SaneBox or even getting to Inbox Zero outside of SaneBox, that's something really good. Now, one thing I'd say is when I'm browsing through my main inbox and I'm just trying to get to zero at the end of the day, it actually just does put everything in the most important areas for me. And the brilliant thing is that in Sparkmail, I've got favorites down this left-hand side. So if I want to access them really quickly, I can do so. And it just takes all the clutter out of emails. So for example, you can see here that these last six emails have come in since 1 a.m. So they may have been uh, just a few seconds, but if I add that up across my day, it really does save me time. Anyway, guys, a huge thank you for stopping by today. I hope you enjoy this week here on the Keep Productive YouTube channel. A big thank you to SaneBox for sponsoring it. You can get $25 credit below, so do check that out. Anyway, guys, I am a happy user and someone that recommends SaneBox, so do check it out below. Anyway, guys, big thank you for stopping by today. Make sure to have a great week, keep productive, and I'll see you guys very, very soon. Cheers.